Hey guys, it's Jessica, the other half of Jessica and Cody. Currently, it is really cold where I am, and I don't understand why, because winter ended like t three weeks ago, and it's supposed to be spring. But here I am. So I'm under like five blankets, a hoodie, and uh, like three shirts, and I'm still really cold. So yay, that's fun. Um... So today, I'm going to be reacting to the new Prison Break episode. It came out like two weeks ago, but it's new to me. So it's called The Liar, and I'm super excited to see this episode. Um, I hope we see more Michael because he's my favorite character ever, and whenever I see him on screen, I just get really, really happy. Um... So yeah, we'll just see how this reaction goes. I have not seen this episode, obviously. So I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Hopefully it's as good as the previous two episodes, which have been so good and so intense. Let's see if they keep up that intense factor. And let's get this reaction started in 3, 2, 1, go. So this is it, the spot on the map. The owner says he sold the auto shop to an American four years ago and hasn't seen him since. You know that American is Michael, right? Question is, what was he using this place for? Planning his escape. Looks like his original expo point was at the northern border. Won't be doing that now. It's ice out there, Dory. Mock-ups, passport photos, disguises. But it looks like he just wasn't planning on getting himself out. He was getting Abu Ramal out. This guy is an enemy of everything that's civilized, Link. That brings me to my real question. Who in the hell are we breaking out? Is it Michael Schofield? Or can you allow this? I don't know anymore. I really don't. Tell me what you know. The day I hit the bricks from Fox River, someone named Outis, out of the goodness of their soul, unsolicited, pays for this modern prosthesis. <laughs> What's that? A million bucks? Why did anyone come out of a pocket for a rich like me? A penny, much wow. less a million bucks. Yeah, if you're coming to me for answers, I don't have any. Oh, I went looking for answers, Doc Sam. I looked up Outis on the interwebs. Whose face comes up at your dead ex-husband's looking very much alive. Lazarus arisen from the dead. He's drawn us into something, isn't he? He wants something, doesn't he? Come near me or my family again. I will kill you. Better to have me on your side, Sarah. We can figure this out together. <laughs> Who are these men you work with? Oh, no. They're beneath you. You're beneath me. It pains me to hurt you, but a good woman is a humble woman. Remember that. Who are these men? Doesn't matter. They're leaving. I'm not the bad guy here. You and I have a history. How I doted on you in grade school. How I waited and I waited. You did not wait. You tried to rape me! Oh, God. Evil man. Please. Please don't tell me. So I can take your other eye. Oh, great. They're back. She baited us. 
Run, Sarah! Run! <laughs> have no time, just run! Dead end. Chance Poseidon will just let us kill her? It might come to that. Poseidon? Hello? Uh, hi, this is Brian at Jeff's. I got this number when I activated your new phone. You never came back. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to. Well, okay, I just want to let you know that I figured out who was hacking your phone. Who? You hacked your own phone. What are you talking about? Your thumbprint is your password, right? Well, whoever hacked your phone used your thumbprint. So, unless you're missing a thumb, that's you. I don't know what you're messed up in, but... We gotta hurry, man. We got less than ten minutes to kill the power. Don't worry. With luck, both your friend and my son will be free within the hour. Well, that was easy. Breakers are down. Now we just need to pull the redundancies. They're down the hall. I'll stay here and deal with security. Go. Never mind, it wasn't easy. Oh god, look at all those buttons. Oh, come on. I want to doubt go old school. Make it. She was busted up real bad. What happened? Just get to the rendezvous. We gotta be there for Michael, damn it. Damn. Locked down. Extra guards on the roof. Question is whether they move on.
Maybe it doesn't matter because I'll be dead. And they'll leave you alone. But I love you. You'll see I left you. I never stopped loving you. This whole lie, it was for you. You die. Don't let the book get you out of some head stone. Because that's never who I was. Make the book my real name. The man I have always been. No! 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 Michael's no! Oh my god! No! Oh no! Oh no, what is this? Oh god! So, this episode was really intense. Um, I actually legitimately almost cried multiple times filming this. I actually had to stop watching it for a couple of minutes because it just got really intense at some points. Um... And I mean, that's a sign that it's a really good episode, but also, wow, it, it was the, by far the most intense episode I've ever seen. Um, so just a little brief recap. Uh, in this episode, Michael and his group were trying to escape, and if you're at this part of the video, you find out what happens, but uh, they don't make it, which... I kind of saw that coming. I didn't think they'd get out in this episode. It's only episode three. And if they got out this early, I would be like, what are the other episodes going to be about? This is a show about breaking out of prison. If you get out, of, if you get out in episode three, where else are you going to end up? So I kind of expected that. It was still kind of like, no, we didn't escape. So I was still disappointed. But yeah, I, I didn't. I honestly didn't think they escaped in this episode. So that happened. Um, and there are a few people in his group that I really love. Um, the one that's my favorite at the moment is the electrician guy's son that's in there because he's gay. He's my favorite. And there were a couple times where I thought he was going to die and it literally hurt my soul. Because he's just so precious and I want him to be safe and loved and that nobody can hurt him. And that hasn't happened yet, and I don't like it. Um, so, yeah. And then with Sarah, she also had some some intense stuff happen. Her phone gets hacked at the hospital. So she, like, do -do 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 -do, goes to get it fixed or, like, figure out who hacks it. And she's almost killed by these assassins. I actually don't know if they are assassins, but they have guns and they tried to kill her so I'm saying yes they are assassins um they also mentioned they're a part of this group called Poseidon I don't remember if that's part of the original series I think that's new if it's not please comment down below because I could be completely wrong so yeah, maybe we'll see more from this group in the future, or these two strange assassins who keep trying to kill Sarah? What the heck? Don't, don't, stop it. Stop trying to kill her. It's not fun. Ugh. Um, so yeah. And then she finds out that the person that uh, hacked her phone used her thumbprint, and then she was like, oh, the guy from the office! I don't remember his name, but she went to talk to him, and he's the one that actually revealed Michael Schofield's alternate, alternate ego, Daniel Otis, and he used a thumbprint she left on a glass to hack her phone. No idea why. So she asked Teabag to look into him to figure out why, because Teabag is involved because Michael spent a million dollars to give him a cool robot hand, so we'll see what that turns out. Turns, turns out. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then in the final little main plot point, Lincoln and Sheba uh, were trying to get passports for him and Michael. And they have like a giant group now of people that are leaving because they got Sheba's family. And then they got this group of kids that they rescued in the previous episode. And I just don't know where Michael 
I don't Lincoln. Oh my god, why do I keep saying his name is Michael? No, Lincoln. Lincoln, I'm sorry. If I called him Michael, I meant Lincoln. Lincoln has this endless amount of money. Um, he just keeps spending money, like, will, I mean, I guess it's not willy-nilly, but he's like, here's money to bribe you. Here's more money to bribe you. Oh, you need money for passports? Here you go. Half first, half later? Sure. At some point, he has to run out of money, but that hasn't happened yet, so we'll see where that turns up. Um, so, in the midst of them trying to get the passports, uh, they get knocked out, and some stuff happens with Shiba. It's not fun. It's very hard to watch because I thought that she was going to get hurt by this ass of a guy that she knew in grade school. And he was like, I loved you. And I waited for you. And she was like, no, you didn't. You tried to rape me. And I was like, oh, my God, where is this going? And it went in a way where he legitimately tried to rape her. And thank God Lincoln saved her. So nothing happened. And oh, my God, I just. I, when I first saw that guy, I hated him, and I knew I hated him for a reason, and that's the reason. He's awful! Um, so, they get out of there unharmed, uh, but I don't think they have their passports, so he just wasted even more money. Um, and yeah, Michael's back in prison, and he, he recorded this message to Sarah, and I legitimately almost cried, because the phone died, and he wasn't able to send it! And I'm just like, no, Michael, Sarah, no. My heart was literally breaking. I don't know where they're going to go from here because this is by far the most intense episode I've ever seen. But it was really good. So I recommend that you guys all watch the full episode because I'm only able to show 10 minutes. Oh, boy. So if you've seen this episode, please comment down below. I would love to talk to you guys. Uh, my social media is also down below as well if you want to give it a look-see. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel because I do more videos like this every week. And I will be back here soon with a new reaction video. Bye guys.